after making a career-changing trade, it seems like the Houston Rockets front office are making changes of their own. It seems like we have three new members of the squad. Now, I don't know if these changes are because I want out or if they made their promise to build a team around me. We will see. Let's get to the game, y'all. Everyone, Kevin Harlan here alongside. Yeah, what's going on, y'all? It's our podcast King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. As y'all seen in the earlier clip, it looks like Tyreek Evans has taken over this team. Um, I guess that there's nothing that I can do, seeing as though that we're both from Chester. So, um, big up to him <laughs> for coming to the Rockets and showing love. But uh, basically, I have a few topics that I want to talk about today. Two mainly. Um, basically, I want to talk about the mid-range jump shot and the way to utilize it in NBA 2K12 and NBA 2K12 My Player Mode in general. Now, first off, let's talk about the mid-range jump shot. Now, in these clips, I'm utilizing this jump shot with perfection. It seems like nobody can stop it. In this game, if you can't get to the rim, just like how all three of those dudes just came up to me and just was like, you know what, you not in our paint. You need to utilize the jump shot. If you don't have a jump shot because you made an athletic player, like an athletic point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, or center, you need to use your skill points on getting your jump shot up. Now, with the moves that I have, you know, at the dribbling, you know, I can basically get a double move on every play. Now, look as I in and out that dude and get to the rim. I can get to the rim, but they still can block my shot right there dude just wasn't fast enough the animation was a little bit too much for him so i got past him now what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to set up the picks you know i don't know if i'm going to get my shot off or if i'm going to pass but see as i pass reek hits the jump shot now i could still get assists but i can't get pick and rolls so what i do is i run fast breaks and i kick it out and dish it out now back to the jump shot me i started off with probably about I would say a 50 or 55 overall uh, mid-range jump shot. Now, I spent a lot of skill points to get my jump shot up to at least a 75 or 80. Now, now that it's at like 75 or 80, I can easily hit shots. So, what I want to tell y'all is, please do this. And I mean do this easily. Get your jump shot up and just work it. I mean, work it. Like, just work it all day long. You know, going to shoot around shoot a lot of jump shots probably about i say 100 every game you know like as soon as you turn your system on just go shoot a couple i'm um, also going to a scrimmage and see how the jump shot works against people and you'll basically get a feel on how things are ran how your jump shot works if you need a better base or set shot and basically you could become better at nba 2k my player now i know it's a lot and i know it's frustrating but i'm telling you guys it's worth it seriously it's really really worth it now I'm going to stop talking right now. I'm going to let halftime get to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's a lot in this halftime show that I wanted y'all to see. So I'm just going to sit back, relax, and let the tape play. All right? From behind the arc. Here's the captain, guarded by Kirk. Lead away. Again, the Rockets score. Boy, what a great job of getting... It's Saturday night. We're feeling all right. Let's get to the HB halftime report. Plenty of hustle from the Rockets. Their second unit making its impact felt offensively. They've come in ready to roll. And Tyreek Evans, no problems tearing up the scoring against Golden State. He's got a dozen points and a few steals, too, staying active on the defensive end of the floor. But you know, the Warriors also came to play. Phenomenal work on the defensive glass. They're boxing out. They're hauling it in every time. Stephen Curry's been tremendous in the first half. He's got 16 points, and he's applying defensive pressure, adding some steals as well. We've seen these two pace their team so far in the first half. Let's see what they'll have in store for later. Now let's check out other NBA action as we go around the league.
at Time Warner Cable Arena, the Bobcats with the win over the Jazz. That outing's their first victory in their last three tries. Corey Maggette led the team in points. And checking out another game that wrapped up over at the United Center, it was the Bulls losing to the Kings. They'll want to do better next time out. Derrick Rose was their leading scorer. And now a look at the other NBA action. The New Orleans Hornets are trailing the Spurs out in San Antonio. Fourth quarter, and they're a three away from evening the game up. Thanks so much for joining me at halftime. We send you back out to Kevin and the gang. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. All right, you guys, I'm back. Um, first of all, I love the halftime report this season. Oh, my God, it's so realistic. But one thing that I do want to point out, I hope y'all seen how Stephen Curry was killing me from three. Now, I'm not never I'm never scared to show, you know, bad defense and things like that. You know, it's all in the game. We all have it. We all have bad games. We all have good games. So, you know, I guess I wanted to show you guys a little bit of, you know, clip on me getting owned. <laughs> but basically, let's talk about NBA 2K12, my player move. First thing is, on the list, a lot of people are having a problem because they're all getting drafted to the same teams. And the reason why is because everybody is making the same position. You know, if you made a different position, then, of course, you would, you know, b go to a different team if you made a center, power forward. But that's all in the next couple videos I'm going to bring out on Game Face Studios. But another thing is, a lot of people are saying that they're playing key games. And they're just, you know, playing out the entire two seasons and waiting until they get a new contract so they can buy certain shots and things of that nature. Now, if you want to do that, you can. But me... I'm going to 482, all right? Um, let's get to the press conference. You know, I got a lot to say in the press conference because, of course, I had a great game. Now, when I say I had a great game, you guys, I got a little surprise for everybody. I don't know if you guys seen this yet, but this was my first time getting when I played this game, and I was totally happy. Look at the bottom of the screen. I get 100 skill points for being a player of the game. Let's get to it, man. Yes. Your boy is back. <laughs> Real talk. Your boy is back. Don't sweat me. <laughs> Word is spreading around the league that you've made it known you aren't happy here and want to be shipped to another team. Can you set the record straight? Man, y'all know what I'm going to do. Y'all suckers. Oh, nah, there's no truth to that at all. This is my team, and this is where I want to be. I'm putting all my energy into making this team better, not trying to find some other situation for me. Any rumors you might be hearing are just that, rumors. So we can go ahead and squash them right here and now. <laughs> you like the way I did that, right, y'all? Got my team chemistry up and my local fan support. You know what I did, man. I played them like they were all suckers. <laughs> but, yo, guess what I got after this sixth game, man? Yeah, I said sixth game. Um, I'm not going to put it in the title. It's no need. You know, all endorsements come very fast. But I did get my first cover of a magazine. And I'm here to show it to everybody, you know. Check me out on a 2K Sports magazine. Chew on this. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Chew on this, though. <laughs> Yo, wait, <laughs> wait for my next video. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Oh, also, shout out to Game Face Studios. Y'all know the clip. <laughs>